baseball is America's pastime, but uh, American sport began thousands of years ago when indigenous communities played a game that we call poke to poke. It went by different names, different spellings, different translations. And when it came time to introduce a Copa identity to the Pensacola area, we wanted to do something different from the other teams. What can we bring to the table that's not, you know, just cut and dry? That's not, I mean, we could have been Los Blue Wahoos or Los Wahoos Azul. And that could have been easy. Um, I think we took the harder route, but the more rewarding route. How are we going to develop a name that reflects the proper heritage? Our, our mission is to improve the quality of life of the people that we serve, and the people that we serve is um, our fans, uh, Pensacola community, our surrounding communities, anybody that wants to be a Wahoo and have, have a good time with us, that's, that's who we are, that's our demographic. We wanted to make sure that we were talking with the right people that um, you know, identified with this we were just brainstorming through tons of ideas. Um, one, one night we were just texting back and forth and he asked me, have you ever heard of Poc da Poc? Whenever he said that to me, I said, that's brilliant. That, that's it. Our primary logo is a Poc to Poc athlete playing the game and it's set on the backdrop of Chichen Itza. On the jersey, we have an authentic Mayan glyph that translates roughly to Poc to Poc. Because there was a lot of work that went into it, you know, going to Mexico, trying to make sure the jersey was well represented. We connected with the University of Texas to get a linguistics and uh, Mayan historian to kind of help us with the, the glyphs and kind of get that side of it being authentic so we could display something true on, on our uniforms and on our hats and, and merchandise and things like that. The whole point that drove this idea was that it went beyond just something Hispanic, something very cliche, that it was actually something that had to do with athleticism, uh, something historical, not necessarily tied to Spanish history, but that some of the Spanish history kind of melted the uh, Mesoamerican uh, culture. Now that we've established the Pensacola poke to poke identity here in this local community, is to continue to educate the people who show up here in attendance at Blue Wahoo Stadium, but also establish a more widespread growth of the poke to poke brand because this is something that isn't necessarily exclusive to Pensacola. And I think if we can become known as the team in minor league baseball that pays tribute to the poke to poke and brings that to life, then I think we can make uh, poke to poke fans, Blue Wahoos fans, outside this general area.